Hello, this is Bob Hollis with the Mobius Network, and today I'm going to show you how to add content to a Joomla 1.7 website. So this site is currently offline while under development, and if I type in my username and password, I can log in to see the site. And here we are. Uh, so the thing that you're going to want to do most of the time is add content and add it to a menu item. And so that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So as you can see, I'm logged in here, so I do have administrator status. If I ever want to just edit something on the front end that already exists, all I need to do is click this edit button, and it will pull up a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. And it will look very familiar to anyone who's used uh, any other major word editor. You can bold, italicize, uh, change colors of fonts and backgrounds add hyperlinks and uh, I would need to do to make an edit is type anything that I'd like in here and save and to make a hyperlink I would just highlight the content click the little chain link for insert edit link and once this dialog comes up I would just paste in the web address of where I wanted to go so open up that website copy the address out of your browser bar and paste it into here and you can type in what that title will be you could also uh, type in any specific information that you would like to include here and if you've got pop-ups uh, you can create a pop-up but generally all you need to do is put in the URL put in the title and if you're gonna go off-site I would recommend open a new window if you're gonna stay on the same site just leave it like it is and click insert I'm going to click cancel here because I don't need to do it. So once those things are done, your edits are done, you just hit save and that will execute your edits and the article will be updated. Now that's if you want to edit an article that already exists. If you want to create a new article, you need to log into the back end of Joomla to the control panel. And to do that, you would just type the word administrator slash administrator on the front page and that's going to take you to a login. With your same login information you'll get to a control panel that looks like this. So to add content you start by adding your category if you if you need to add a new category. Um, we have categories currently you can use uh, actually we don't so I'm going to start one new category and this will be our parent category and I'm just going to call it GLF as a uh, top level category for this website. So you can create subcategories under GLF uh, that might be specific to any of our major topics. For example, educators, uh, healthcare professionals, health professionals, or um, I don't remember what else we have on there. I think food producers. So you could create a category for each of those if you like and then just save it and now I've got a category. So once these categories are created for the site you generally don't need to do that very often. Then you'll go to article manager to create your article. So I'm going into article manager and I can either go straight to add new article but I'll show you what article manager looks like. It has a listing of all of our articles here including some placeholder articles that I created just to have something up there uh, for demo purposes. And you can go back and forth between these three right here as well. Uh, featured articles are things that will show on the front page and those are also indicated by a star here. So you can click here to make something go to the front page or you can change it under here or when you edit the article. Uh, several different ways to do things. So I just want to add a new demo article right now. So I'm going to click new and I'm going to call this demo article and I'm going to give it the category of GLF and the alias will complete itself unless you want to type something specific in there it will take care of itself. Um, but if you have a specific request, you want your URL to look a certain way, that's where you would type that. But remember, no spaces, no uppercase letters. Now, here is where you can say whether or not this content is going to be published or not published yet. Public or set to special only, which means only administrators can see it. 
featured, whether or not it's going to be on the front page. And we don't have any other languages installed, so just leave that as it is. And then down here you would put in your text, and you can also insert an image uh, here or here. And those uh, ideally would already be in your media manager, which I'll show you in another video. Uh, so that's all there is to it. You have some different options you can select from over here. I won't go through all those, but they're pretty intuitive. And this is where you'd put in your description, your meta description, and any meta keywords that you would want search engines to find. So I'm going to save and close our article. And now, of course, I would need to put that out on a menu somewhere so it, it would be accessible somewhere out here on the site. So for these purposes, I'll put it under oh, about. So I'll go back into our administrator side again. And I just have two tabs open here. I always do that while I'm working to make it easy to go back and forth. And I'm going to our top menu. And again, I could go straight to add new menu item but I'm going to click top menu and new and for this menu item I'm going to select a single article is my type and you'll see that there are a lot of different menu items you can add and this is how you add different types of content onto your site but here in this case we're going to go single article and then select the article and in this case we uh, chose demo article and see I already have one called demo article but we just did one and categorized it as GLF so I'll use th that and type in the text that I want this to say so I'm going to call this demo article 2 um, the, the label that I want for the menu item itself that will show up on the website and again here I can choose whether or not it's published, whether or not it's public or accessible to administrators only or registered site users only. So this is how you can control special info that's only available to people who register. Whenever you create that content, if you put it to public, everybody can see it. If you set the access level to registered, only people who log into the site can see it. So they have to have registered on the site. And that's how you can get them on email list, etc or special for administrators only. So whatever I'm testing information, I set it to special uh, so that I can look at that information without making it public. And once I'm happy with it, I just change the access from special to public and then everybody can see it. This is the menu location, so which menu we want it in. In this case, it's that top menu. And this is the menu item root. So that's what it's going to come under. So in this case, I said I was going to put it under About. So instead of having it be a main top menu item, I want it to be a submenu item under About. So I'm going to choose About as the parent item, and that makes Demo Article 2 menu a, a child of that menu item. And then the target window, again, the same, or a new page if I want somebody to go, if they're going to go off-site, um, but we wouldn't be in this case. And again, this is just my article link. I've got options here again for what I want to show in that article. Page display options, uh, whether or not to put a header in. And I always recommend having a header because this also controls what gets shown on your browser tabs um, when you're looking at something. So I'm going to put demo article 2 as the browser page title. And I'll put it here also as the page heading. And that can help with search engine but I'm going to say don't show page heading or else it'll look like a duplicate title on your website if you're showing both the menu title and the article title. So I'm going to save and close and there was a spot there for metadata as well. And then once I go back out to the site and I reload or just uh, get the, now you can see that demo article 2 shows underneath about and if I click, it will take me to that sample content we just created. Now once again, because I'm logged in as an administrator, I can click this Edit Article button, and that will allow me to edit further from the front end if I'd like to. And that is how you create content on a Joomla 1.7 website.